Hello, my name is Marty Englander and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Wordify Managed WordPress Hosting. It really boggles me that I've not seen many articles or videos about Wordify. They are a lightning fast hosting company which actually manages your WordPress sites for you. Now, before we get into a Wordify review, please make sure to leave a like on this video and comment with any questions uh, that you may have about Wordify. Also, I'm going to leave a discount link in the description below with some of my favorite WordPress plugins if you do decide to buy as a special thank you for using my link. So let's get started. Okay, so we're in the Wordify uh, dashboard and what you can see is a really nice and clean interface. And if there's one thing that I love is clean interfaces. So if we scroll down, um, you can actually see there's not much going on. You've got sites, profile, billing, affiliate and support. Um, these four are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'm just going to click on support for you. And in support, they've just got open a support ticket to an email address. So really simple um, and a direct email for you. And the profile is just your user information. It's got my personal info in there, so I'm not going to go into it. But uh, this is the dashboard and you can see you've got the search option, add new site, and then you've also got the option to create another site. They're saying, why choose Wordify? Well, they partnered with Amazon Web Services to provide fastest and most reliable platform possible. Uh, they also give you a free SSL certificate with every single one of your sites. And for those of you who are kind of newcomers to websites, SSL is basically a security. It's, it's for encryption and stuff like that, um, just to help your site, number one, get rankings on Google because Google likes secure sites and number two just uh, encrypt data that people may input into your website and then also global servers so our global reach means awesome site speed for clients no matter where they are so those three core things are hugely important when it comes to hosting because when people choose bad hosting uh, often their websites get slow and uh, it lowers conversions. so let's go ahead and click create new site and see what this brings so they have three servers uh, they they have servers in three different countries they've got australia united states and uk um, i'm based in the uk so i'm going to go ahead and click uk and then let's go ahead and enter a site name so i'm just going to do youtube um and then the temporary uh, url you can also customize this so again i'm just going to do youtube me or you can leave it blank and they'll just generate a random one for you it really doesn't matter and um, but if you're working with clients and you're probably going to want uh, something a little bit more unique and then select the type of site so if you are not on the paid plan you can see just below uh, you've got two options here you've got dev site and live site okay so if you're not on a paid plan then and you want to use a live site then you'll have to choose one of these options one of the packages which they're not the cheapest but considering you get managed wordpress features in this then really the price kind of justifies it because if you're hosting if you're like someone like me for example and you've got over 60 70 sites under your belt then you know manually going through every single site to update it, update the plugins themes and integrate security and all of that it can be a real headache but this software uh, wordify does that all for you so that's uh, a really nice addition but i'm not going to get into pricing my pricing is going to all the pricing for wordify is going to can be found on my blog link below so i'm going to go ahead and click dev site and if you see all those other options options now disappear and let's go ahead and click add site so this is now created the site and you can see five percent complete preparing installation okay so I thought just while um, the the WordPress site is being automatically created by Wordify we'll quickly go through the feature list that they offer so you've got a free SSL certificate like we already spoke about a temporary URL again we already spoke about that just now um, automated WordPress updates so this is literally them automatic as long as you say yes uh, you toggle the little button, which I'm going to show you soon, it will automatically update all plugins and themes and everything else on your site that needs to be updated. Uh, daily backup, so that's a really handy feature. Um, you never know when something's going to go wrong or if you've got a client who messes with something or even if you accidentally do something, this will back it up nicely uh, for you every single day. Um, then they've got a tier one uh, infrastructure. So basically, Amazon offers really 
it fast at lightning speed uh, hosting and stuff like that so that's always a really good feature to have and if we scroll down they also offer 24 7 support you know whenever you've got an issue or anything on those lines you can contact them and they will con the chances are after 24 7 then they're going to be able to help you almost on the spot or certainly within you know half an hour or so okay so you can now see site has finished you know i didn't need to install wordpress or deal with configuration files or anything like that it was done for me and that is great so let's go ahead and just click on this and see what opens up so you can see it's nothing's actually showing and that's because we've not configured anything and uh, it's telling us to input our username and password so that's really great okay um so let's go ahead and head over to edit okay so this is the back end of where all our techie files is going to be and what you can see is we've got the site name the location of where this web the, the location of the server where this website is being hosted you've got the url the ip address and of course the username and password so we can jump in and it also tells us how much storage our website's got now here you can see auto update wordpress and uh, this will basically and, and this is us telling Wordify, you know, uh, what do we want to update? Do we want minor only or do we want all updates? Well, for me, I actually want all updates. Um, I tend to do all updates purely because I don't use a lot of uh, plugins for my websites. I like to keep everything very, very small, uh, very compact. So, uh, and most of the time the plugins that I use are like very established plugins with and are very very reliable and again i'll go ahead and leave all those links that i used for my best plugins and what's not in the description below and then we're going to move on to auto update plugins and yes i want that and update themes and yes i want that and um just to clarify this bit here this is actually for when there's a new version of wordpress out and you want to update it and stuff i'm always just going to go with um all updates and if anything does go wrong then I'm going to be notified and I can always roll back um, so now that's this section let's go ahead and go to WordPress admin okay so the WordPress admin opens up a little pop-up and you've got your username and your password so let's just go ahead open this up in a new site and I'm just going to take the password and enter wordify and enter the password sign in okay and now you can see just like a normal WordPress dashboard, you've logged in and you can go ahead and install and start working on your site. And if we look at the front of it now, it's now uh, live for us. But remember, because we're not on the paid version, um, anyone who visits your site will always need to input that account information because it's actually for development purposes and not for live until you're on the paid package. So keep that in mind. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and go to um, SFTP. Okay, so the SFTP is basically if you use a file transfer protocol like FileZilla, um, you can just log in, use this information, and it will log you in and you can quickly bulk upload all of your plugins, themes, and stuff like that. So it's always handy to have this. Let's go on to next domains. Here's all your domains, and this is where it shows absolutely everything relating to all the sites you've created, domains, subdomains, etc. So if you go ahead and click create domain, then what this will basically do is it will allow you to create your actual domain name and then hook up everything that you need to hook up when it comes to your domains. Go ahead and click the little edit icon and here it says update domain. So uh, you have the choice whether or not you want to make this a primary domain or use an SSL certificate which will show the HTTP S, which is hypertext transfer protocol it's basically uh, encryption again i spoke about that earlier on so all you need to do is click yes yes and then go ahead and do confirm and then that will automatically do that for you let's move on to staging okay so again the staging site is usually for the paid plan and what that basically is is it allows you to create like dummy debate uh, dummy websites and transfer you know from your development sites to your live sites and from your live sites to your development sites so that's a really handy feature and it's one click let's move on to config okay so the config site is basically your my php area where you can log in and you can see all your files in your databases and if you want to edit any of it you can do um, you can say show me 25 of these files instead of 10 and you can scroll
scroll down, you can basically see that it's all here. You can delete them or create the config file yourself if you wanted to. Most people don't really touch this unless you really know what you're doing. So I won't worry about this too much, but it is there just in case you do want to start playing around with it. Let's head over to themes. You know, as the name suggests, this is where you can add themes, manage themes, enable themes, disable themes, basically everything that you can do on your WordPress dashboard, you can also do here. So for an example, you can see this is ticked and this is ticked because it's currently the active theme on the WordPress website. But let's say I didn't want that to be enabled and I wanted this one. So I'll go ahead and click this, activate theme, and now you can see this theme has been disabled and this one's been activated. And if I wanted to delete a theme, well, I'll just click on the bin icon and press confirm. So it's actually really nice that you can go into this area and just upload the themes and stuff like that. So if we wanted to add a theme, well, you just come here and then search, say hello. So hello is built by Elementor. If you've never heard of Elementor, I'll leave a link to my videos below. Really good plugin. But you can see we've got all of these themes here and I'm just going to go ahead and tick this and go ahead and press plus and you can multi-select them and also install them if you wanted to and so this works great with multi-sites so now now let's click go back and you can see we've got the hello theme there so again just tick that confirm and now there we go so we've got the theme there and it's just a great way of managing your themes um, let's go ahead and go to plugins and this is basically identical to the theme side of things uh, just for the plugins so again you can add a plugin if you want to or you can activate plugins or even deactivate them or delete them so again really great just for quickly managing and even getting stuff uploaded to your site fast then let's move over to the backups okay so the backups is you know where all your backup files for this website is going to lie and even though they do it automatically for you you can go ahead and press create backup confirm and this will start a manual backup for you and it's loading and once that's finished it will show up here next let's go to transfer go to transfer so this is actually a really important feature for a lot of people and it works really really smoothly so the way this works is you would enter the email um, so let's say you are transferring from your other hosting you will enter your email um, and then all that information and then you'll choose which plan you want to put them on and then you'll go ahead and click transfer site and let me just okay so transfer site okay now it's doing its thing so what's going to happen now is there's going to be a link sent to that email's inbox with all the step-by-step -step instructions on how to transfer it all over and it really is really very simple it's basically one two three clicks and then you you're done and you're finished and if you wanted to delete this you will just simply click delete and it will say are you sure you want to delete this site and you simply say yes and the site will be deleted so let's go back to site you can see this and if you wanted to do uh, if you wanted to create multiple sites or whatever you would just again click add new site and you would repeat the process um, so all in all it's just a very simplified way of hosting your WordPress sites on fast hosting and managing them without you needing to be around. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you've got any questions or have left something out, please let me know in the comments below and I'll go ahead and add it to my blog found in the description below.